What's going on guys? Uh, tonight I'm going to be talking about Remedy's latest title called uh, Alan Wake. Um, usually when it comes to a brand new survival horror game, oh look at that, it's one o'clock in the morning. Um, games that are you know in the horror category, I tend to not play them. Um, I think that as of lately the horror series has become stale. Uh, you know, games like Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Dead Space, those are titles that have actually earned, to me, that they've earned their spot in the horror genre because each one of those games has contributed something new to the series. Uh, Remedy, on the other hand, takes the basic principles of you know a horror game and adds a fresh concept by implementing light to defeat its enemies. Uh, you can see I have a flashlight in my hand and I'm standing in light right here. This light is pretty much a safe haven uh, when you see it, you know, you know, run to it, it'll rejuvenate your battery. It'll, I, I believe it rejuvenates your life too, I'm not sure, but um, those two things, battery and you got any guys chasing you, you just run in here and they pretty much just disappear, so. Um, now, the enemies in this game aren't like enemies I've ever seen in anything else. They're this weird shadowy figure is known as the Taken and they have pretty much like a, a black shadow shield around them and the only way to defeat them is by using your flashlight so uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty crazy at, at times you know you're trying to fight off multiple dudes and you're you know trying to shoot them well you gotta weaken them first and then you shoot them and then when they die you know your battery waste you gotta pop in the battery and right now I'm gonna stop talking because I think something's about to happen, so. I really thought I was gonna die right there. All right, well, mo most games in <laughs> in this category, you know, they they rely on the you know the pop out and, and scare type of tactic where you know you'll be you know coming around a corner, music builds up, and then you know something pops out and oh, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> not not in this game. This game is as you've seen, it's it gets pretty tense. You know, during the combat, you got to keep switching out batteries and worrying if you have enough, you know, you know, backup batteries and bullets. But um, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. This this game, as you can see, it kind of relies on ammo conservation and and tension buildup, like all that. You know, the music was really good, and yeah, the it was it was nuts. So um, now, basically, what this game is about is. 
Alan Wake is an author who suffers from, from writer's block and he thinks that taking a trip to this fucking place called Bright Falls with his wife Alice will actually help him you know, finish writing his novel. Uh, I'm not really sure if you guys remember this movie called Evil Dead. Uh, I think it is, came out in the 1980s where the, you know this they come out to a cabin and just a bunch of weird shit happens you know stuff's possessed and you know it's it's kind of, it just reminds me of this game that's, that's the reason why I brought it up so um, for those who haven't played this game I'm not really gonna talk too much about you know Alan Wake and the stuff that happens in this town because you know I don't want to for, for the sake of spoilers in case you guys want to pick this up and play it um, we got some more guys right here I'm just give me a sec Those two guys weren't that bad, but um, usually co the combat in this game can be aggravating if you go about it the wrong way. You know the the use of light and and flares and flashbangs and spotlights are pretty much just the few of the things that you can use to help if you know, if you're ever low on batteries. Um, the actual batteries that they use in this game are are Duracells. Like um, it's pretty crazy that they're advertising. They advertise for Duracell and Verizon phones and things like that. So. Just thought I'd, you know, fill you guys in on that. Um, another thing they throw into the mix is the dodge button. And thank God for a dodge button. Every game needs a dodge button. Because it, the dodge button in this, it serves as two things. It's a sprint button if you hold it down. And if you tap it, it's a dodge. So it really mixes things up a lot. You, know, you got like five dudes coming at you. And the dodge button just makes it seem like you're fighting too because you're just that much more evasive when it comes to handling Alan and it just helps out a lot. Uh, so let's see what we got in here. A shotgun. You find scripts throughout the game. Uh, so these scripts, you, you pick them up and they're pretty much a prelude to what's supposed to be happening in the game. I mean, obviously, I said he was uh, a writer, and he lost all his pages throughout Bright Falls, and he's just picking them up. So, if you want, you could sit through and read them all. I, I think the the game play enough is enough for me. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much about it. I'll show a video after this one, showcasing some some other scenes. I know it took up about eight minutes of this vid just explaining the you know the things going on, but. Um, you know, there aren't really too many bad things to say about this game. One thing that I am a little disappointed on is the voice acting. You know, being that it's a narrated title, um, the, I think that the conversations and commentary should be believable and, and spot on. You know, I really didn't think this would be an issue considering that, you know, Remedy did Max Payne and Max Payne was, you know, the voice, at, um, the voice acting on that was just good so um, you know the voice acting on the game has a huge impact and if it's not done correctly you could you know fuck it up like uh, I think Far Cry 2 was another game that it was really good but it just seemed like there were no periods in whatever they were saying so you know, it's like one big run on sentence but uh, anyway you know if you guys want to pick this game up just you know turn out the lights Give your girlfriend NyQuil and turn up the volume and just enjoy it. Alright guys, later.